Hello and welcome to WVLMS updates. In the latest 1.6 update, we have introduced a new feature called front-end course creation. The aim of this feature is that the instructor does not need to go to the WP admin panel to create and manage courses. So along with cr course creation, we are giving you front-end unit creation and front-end quiz creation. So for this video, we are going to start by creating a course from the front-end. So before we proceed, few important settings. You need to go to your WPLMS options panel in WP Admin, Course Manager, and here you need to select a, a page for create a course page. Now this page should have the page template of, of create content. So the page template should be connect, connected to this page. And this page should be connected in the options panel, create a course. Next is the admin approval for course. So when uh, an instructor is creating a course from the front end, you can allow the instructor to directly publish the course by selecting no allow publish. If you want that the instructor instructors created course should undergo an admin approval process, then you need to select the yes require approval section approval button. So once you have done these two settings, and install the WPLMS front-end plugin, you will be able to locate a button in the All Courses section called as Create a Course. So when you click on this button, you are taken to a page wherein you can see the details with the descriptions which are coming on the right. So let us start creating a course. So to enter the course title you can simply select delete and type in the course title similarly you can select a course category if the course category is not located then you can select the add new category and then you can enter the new category Next is course image. You can click on the image and select a course image. Next is the course description. In this you need to enter a very short description for the course. This description will be used in creating groups, forums and the associated product. You can select and write some course description here. So once you have filled in all the details, you can straight away click on create course. Now at this point, if you select yes, create a new course, your course will be created. Then you will move forward to the course settings section. So here you need to do all the settings for the course. So like maximum course duration. For unlimited, you can enter four nines similarly for course evaluation you can set manual or automatic if you want to select a pre-required course you can select select it similarly drip feed so when you enable the drip feed you need to set a drip feed duration similarly if you enable the course certificate you need to enter the course certificate percentage and a certificate template Note that the certificate template should be created by the instructor to appear in the in the select box. Note that if you have enabled the instructor privacy, then the instructor will only be able to view the certificate templates created by him in the certificate template dropdown. Next is the course badge. So you can enable or disable the course badge. You can enter a badge title and you can select an image 
for the course badge next is connect a gr group forum you can connect an already existing group if you want to create a new group you can simply select add new group similarly for course forum you can select any pre-existing course forum now if you want to connect the group forum then you can select the connect the group forum if you want to create a new forum now this is a if you want to create a new public forum then you can select the add new forum otherwise if you want to create a private forum then select the connect the group forum last is the course completion message this message is shown to to the users when they complete the course so once you have done all these settings you can simply click on save settings next is the course curriculum section so just like the back end you can start adding the course curriculum now to add a new unit you can simply select on add new unit and enter a title for this unit note that when you are creating a new unit the button turns white which means you cannot save the curriculum as of now so to use this unit so to you need to publish this unit first so you can select publish and it will create a new unit as you can see right so to add a quiz you can simply select in any existing quiz or add new new quiz note that if you have enabled instructor privacy then this drop down will only show you show the show the quizzes created by the instructor so to so you can either select a pre-existing quiz or select add new quiz So just like the units, you need to publish the quiz first. And now that now the curriculum is ready. So now you can either start editing, adding content in the units, or you can proceed with the course setup and come back to the unit editing later on. So to edit a unit, you can simply click on the on the down icon and click on edit unit and it will open a new tab so wherein you can add content now using the tiny mice editor in the top you can give different stylings to it so this section supports a lot of functionality which is already given in the backend you can also embed units and media and images you can embed videos so next is the unit settings so we'll select the unit type then decide whether to make the unit free or not you can select unit duration so currently new assignment functionality is not present we'll be adding it in the later updates for the forum you can connect a new forum so this will be a public forum whereas if you want to create a child forum in the course forum you can select the child forum and save the unit settings so once the unit settings are saved you can update the unit and once the unit is updated you can simply click on view post 
and you can see the live view of the unit you can also verify the unit forum as you can see it is it is a sub forum of the course forum so likewise you can add content in your units and sim next is that we'll add content in the quiz so just like the unit you can add instructions here so the important point to note is that we need to add you need, we need to make all the quiz settings first and then update the quiz content so we can add start adding questions so for new question you can select add a new question for existing questions you can select any existing question note that if you have already enabled instructor privacy then this list will only show the questions created by the logged in user so just like the units we can select a add new question and then enter a question title so once you have entered the question title just like the curriculum you cannot save the quiz settings when the button is white so we need to publish the question first so once you have published the question you can see the question appears in this format you can enter the marks then you can edit the question just like you are editing the quiz so in the question you can write the question so here you need to enter the option you can select the question type given in the theme and start adding options so to select a correct op option you can either click on the icon or you can enter the option in the correct answer and then you can save quiz settings so once the quiz settings are saved you can update the quiz and then you can view the question so this is this is how it will appear similarly you can add more questions I can use the drag and drop functionality to arrange them in any order once you have created the questions you can then create a quiz subtitle you can connect it to a course similarly you can add, add a duration you can select the quiz evol evaluation number of quiz retakes enter message for qu after quiz completion once you have done all these settings you can simply save quiz settings and then you can update the quiz so once you have updated the quiz you can view the quiz and you can see the questions which are appearing so next we come back to our course curriculum just like the sections you can arrange the course curriculum using simple drag and drop so once you have saved the course curriculum you can proceed to pricing so if you have enabled uh, WooCommerce then it will show you the course product if you are using PM Pro then it will show you the membership options so you can turn the course free using this switch or you can connect a product for the course so if you want to set a an existing product for the course you can select the product if you want to add a new product you can select a new product if you want to save the course as a private course then you cannot you can select no product so for this we are going to add a new product next is that you can select the product type subscription all for full course for subscri subscription you need to enter a subscription duration in days for full course you only need to enter the price so once you have selected these you can click on save course pricing it will create a new course product and connect it to the course so last option is the go live button since course creation is a lengthy process in between you can break from creating the course 
and you can locate this course in your courses in your profile courses section under the instructing courses tab and you can see the front end course the course we just created so currently this course is not live so if you open the all courses link in the incognito mode you can see that the front end course is not appearing in the all courses section so it is not visible to the students it is only visible to the instructor and the administrator so to make live you can simply edit the course using the edit course link below the admin link using which you can edit any course so as you can see the course status is currently offline so when you are editing the course you can go through all the settings of the course using this you can go through the curriculum you can edit the curriculum remove and manage the curriculum to go live you can simply click on go live and view the course and you can start taking the course you can see the course group and you can see the forum as you can see we created a front-end unit 1 and it appears as a sub forum avatar is a remaining issue which we'll cover in our later updates so when we click on take this course it takes you to the product and it adds the product in the in the checkout as you can see that's it from front-end course creation thanks for watching